Hey everybody, this is Josh, the 9 Inning Know-It-All, coming to you for the first time in 2020 for 9 Inning Baseball Talk, and oh my word, holy crap, have I got a topic for today. Now usually I try and go through a number of topics, today there's one topic because in baseball there is one piece of news that is just bigger than anything else, and that is the fact that the MLB investigation in terms of the Astros has been completed. A.J. Hinch, suspended for one year, then fired by his owner. Uh, Jeff Lunau, who is the GM of the Astros, suspended for one year, but then fired by his owner as well. They are gone, and wow. this I didn't expect this to come down today. I knew a lot of people said it was coming soon. It was on the verge, but this happened today, and I've got my thoughts I want to talk about. You know, not just on the guys who have been suspended and fired, but also on other people who haven't been uh, punished yet. Alex Cora being one of them. The players being the other part of that. So let's just dive right into this. Guys, man. So like I said, coach, GM, both suspended for a year. Then pretty much immediately fired by their by their owner who said that they failed to live up to the responsibilities that they may not have started the cheating scandal, but they allowed it to continue, and he just cut them off, dropped them. As far as I'm concerned, good for the owner. You know, I, I really doubt that he was in on the cheating. Uh, as the owner, y- your job isn't to learn the, the inner workings of everything necessarily. So I don't think he knew about the cheating scandal. I don't think he knew about that. Um, either way, he's the owner, so if he did or didn't, doesn't matter. But the fact that he took action like this, I, I got to give him a little bit of respect. Now, I will say that I think the punishment, one-year suspension, not enough. Not enough for Hench, not enough for Loonhow. I think those guys should have been spending two, three years at least out of the game. You know, they may never get hired again. I, I don't know. I'm sure someone will hire them, whether it be the college level or, or whatever, but... I don't think the punishment was enough. And I even saw on a tweet just a, a few minutes ago that uh, a lot of people in baseball thought the punishment should have been more as well. So so I'm not in the minority. I believe that most people, most fans um, outside of Houston agreed that the punishment should be more. But it is what it is. They got fired. That's a pretty serious punishment as it is. So that's one thing. Alex Cora, you're next. I, I honestly don't think he will be the manager of the Red Sox come week's end i think by the end of the week he's gone and i think his suspension is longer than a year i think his suspension is looking at two possibly three years um just because he's really the only front office person only coach who is listed in the report as far as i know i haven't read through the whole nine page letter that manfred put out i've read snippets here and there parts of it things that people have highlighted uh because I'm too lazy to read nine pages right now, and I'm, I just had so many thoughts going in my head. I had to get this video going so I get it out there. But the one thing that I saw in the snippets that were pulled out and the discussion that's going on that I think has frustrated me the most and made me the angriest is that someone, I, I think Manfred put it in his letter that this was player initiated and player ran, and that drives me just mad I'm angry because this wasn't the coaches saying hey here's what we're going to do listen to what we're going to do this is the players saying hey look it let's use the replay let's use video let's cheat so we can do better so we can have a better chance at winning and guys I am all for sign stealing if you're a runner on second base and the catcher puts down a one and nothing else and you know it's a fastball man you tell your batter you tell your batter but there is a term, I think CC Sabathia said it the other day, there's a difference between stealing signs and streaming signs. And this is what the Astros, they were streaming the signs. They had the video, they were streaming the video and then relaying it from the dugout. It wasn't like a player on second base who could see the signs. It wasn't like a coach at first or third who could see a catcher who didn't know how to hold his signs back deep into his, his legs so it couldn't be seen. This was video, this was analysis, real-time streaming the, the call and telling the batter. And this, 
that's where it draws the line for me. Player at second base, like I said, if, you're, if there's a runner on and you're the catcher and you, your signs are so bad that they can read what you're calling and they signal their batter, that's the catcher's fault. But when there's no one on base, no one on base, and the catcher is still having his signs read and relayed to the batter because of video, that's that's cheating beyond. That's that's even more than what Bill Belichick has done with the Patriots in the past, in my opinion. This is worse. This is this is horrible for baseball. And I know baseball will get through it, but once again, because this was player initiated, this was started by the players, and that leads me to, to one thought. I will never root for any member of the Astros team the last couple years, no matter where they go, no matter who they play for, no matter what they do, I will never cheer for them. I will never be their fan. And it stinks because there's some guys who I was really excited about being in the league, guys who I looked at and was like, whoa, this guy has talent. He has future potential. None of that. I will root against them no matter where they go. If they, if any of the Astros players who are superstars and have done great the last couple of years go even to my favorite team, the Seattle Mariners, I'm rooting against them. I will cheer on my team and I will boo that player without mercy because this is obscene. This is outrageous and I am frustrated that they're not getting punished. There should be punishment for this. And I know a lot of people, a lot of fans go crazy and say, hey, we should strip them of their title in 2017. And and that, you know, then the, the Red Sox should have their title stripped away as well because Alex Cora and there's investigation for them cheating. And a part of me says, yeah, they, they should be stripped. They should be taken away. I know that Major League Baseball won't do that because if you do that, I, it may open up a can of worms that they can't close. But I'm... A part of me is saying, do it, do it, strip them of the title, take away their championship. So when they get to retirement and they talk about their legacy, their legacy comes down to, I cheated. We won a world series and had it stripped away because we cheated and we cheated and we cheated. And then in press conferences, we laughed about it because we didn't think anybody would catch on. Yes, that's right. The Astros had press conferences where they laughed and joked about knowing what was coming because they did. They knew exactly what was coming. So I am, I am just, I don't know, I'm worked up. You know, this is one of the reasons why I have shied away from Major League Baseball the last few years. It used to be every year my wife would let me take a weekend to go up to Seattle. I'd, I'd get a take my tent with me. I go camp at the KOA up in that area and I go to a whole weekend of games. I mean, that'd be my whole day. I would wake up, go get breakfast at like Denny's or Sherry's. And then I would drive up to the stadium, walk around the area for a little bit. And as soon as the gates open, I'd rush inside and, and spend the whole afternoon, evening at the games. And I loved it, loved it. But the last few years I've, I don't know. I feel like going to major league baseball games you almost feel dirty. You almost feel grimy going to the games. One, because it costs so much. You know, I've got my wife, me, two daughters going to a game in Seattle. It's about a two and a half hour drive. So you go to a six o'clock game. One, it's, it's going to be late. My daughters aren't very old, but I had to buy tickets for all four of us. Cheap tickets are 20 bucks. So you're talking $80 in tickets, parking another 25, 30, 35. You know, if you buy food at, in the stadium, that's actually probably the cheapest thing you do because th those meals are 10 bucks a piece, which isn't bad. I mean, go to a stadium, I go to theme parks, 10 bucks is nothing. You can, that's a pretty good deal actually. And, but it all adds up. And usually when we go up there, we have to get a motel room, two and a half hours game at six goes game goes for three hours till nine, two and a half hours. drive. That's a long day. So sometimes we get a motel. So it adds up pretty quickly. So I haven't been to a major league baseball game in two seasons, this will be the third because I have no plans of going this year. And you know, unless unless I get a chance to go see Mike Trout, I, I would I'd buy a ticket to go watch Mike Trout. But but that's it. Major League Baseball is is tainted for me. And you know, part of the thing that I, I why I love college and minor league baseball is because it's just I don't know it just it's better baseball for me. Yes, the talent may not be as great. 
but it's better baseball in my opinion for me to watch to enjoy to, to just be around but this whole thing with the Astros man just I don't I mean I, I, I can't say I don't know what to say because I've already told you guys everything but I'm just frustrated I'm frustrated there needs to be more punishment I think the players have to pay a price I think that you know guys who benefited from this have to be punished Springer Bregman I mean the whole team there has to be some kind of punishment Carlos Beltran um, I, I hope there's a punishment there too he is now a manager there should be a punishment there and you know it's just it's the way I feel and like I said we already got Hinch and Lenau they're gone they're fired I hope that no one hires them in the future um, at least not at the major league level and I think Cora's next. I think he's, I think his clock is literally ticking. Uh, it's not months, not weeks, it, not even days. It's hours till he's fired. I think, and it just, this, it just blows my mind. You know, to not only cheat, but to be so arrogant about it. And you know, even the, one of the most recent tweets that came out with one of the, uh, you know, paragraphs from the letter, said that it was clear that they cheated. During the postseason of 2017, clear that they cheated in the postseason. And that right there means their World Series means nothing. Means nothing. They shouldn't have it. I know there are going to be Astros fans out there who are going to be like, no, they, they won. They still hit the ball. They still do this. If you know a fastball is coming, it's easy to sit dead red. If you know a changeup's coming, it's easy to, easier to sit back instead of be guessing and trying to look at one and, and fight off the other. If you know a pitch is coming, it changes your bat. I mean, look at their swings. Look at their swings on, you know, change-ups and fastball counts. Look at their swings on, on fastballs that should have been, you know, a, a count that really has normally a, a slider or an off-speed pitch. Their swings changed because of their knowledge. Because they're cheating. And so, you know, guys, I don't think the punishment's enough. I believe that lots of you, lots of fans in this game agree with me that you think the punishment should have been more. And not just for the coaches, but also for the players. So that's my thoughts. What a way to start my first video of 2020. I know I haven't done videos for a while. It's been kind of hectic and crazy uh, being a stay-at-home dad. I'm working on developing my photography business, 90 Photography doing all that stuff, working with uh, a local baseball club, uh, the Rebels, you know, River City Rebels. And so I've been busy, but man, I, I couldn't, I couldn't avoid this topic. This topic had to be talked about, had to be brought up. You know, I plan on doing videos all throughout the year this year. Got lots of ideas, lots of fun ideas. Going to try and actually create a little documentary about a few different topics. So, hey, we're going to have fun. We're going to try some new things. But guys, thanks for listening. This is Josh, the 90 Know-It-All. This is 90 Baseball Talk, talking about the baseball news of the day. Have a good day.